is so fancy. Can you walk me through your thought process and what order you're eating so, these? Um, I've been losing a lot of weight by just eating more whole foods. And I'm like, instead of going to fast food places, what can I get? Where can I get whole foods that also isn't too greasy? Because grease weighs me down in the morning. Japanese food is always good. And a whole food, which is a fish, it's macro, makes your feet stank. And just some steamed lice, a good way to get the carbohydrate. And the fruit, this is a wrinkly ass mango. But I like uh, getting big boxes of mango like that. And then I eat it throughout the week. The week. Yeah. But what are you gonna eat first? And why? Are you, do you, are you the mix and match guy? Like there's no order, it's just whatever. Sometimes I like fruit first because I like <laughs> to start with a surprise. Because when you eat fruit, it's sweet. But then today I'm gonna go with the entree, which is savory and then sweet. And I, I got this, because this is my favorite kind of sweet tea, and I have coffee to start <laughs> making me feel like I'm on crack. And I got a protein bar, because after this meeting I'm gonna get hungry, and in between the meeting I'm gonna get hungry, which is gonna be this. So this is gonna be for right before my work workout. What? <laughs> What are you thinking right now? I just, I was, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I think it's funny how long you waited there for him to get all this ready for you to interview him for that. You were standing there for like 10 I was, minutes. Cause he said, I'll be right back. So I'm like, I'm Sorry. not gonna get situated. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll just chill. So what ha happened was, when, my, I say, when I say right back, it usually means 15 minutes because- Oh shit. Of mine, which is to make coffee and get ice for this drink, right? But when I got there, there's no water in the coffee, so I had to fill up this with water, pour it inside, and then the outside scissor lift started beeping, and I went outside with Casey, we were looking to see if the AC guy was there to fix it, and then we saw him walking far from a distance. That wasted about two minutes, and we walked back in, and I said, oh shit, I forgot to make my coffee, so I put the coffee inside, and then I go, oh, now I gotta pee and wash my hands because you gotta wash your hands before you eat food. And then that's why it took so long for me to come right back. And that's it's why I waited. It was worth it. Yeah. What What do you think, babe? About what I think? yeah, about his his uh his feast, his daily feast. Because it's I think it's every meal. His palate has to taste like sweet, savory, sour. Uh, furry, <laughs> slippery, cold, hot, I think every day. Joe has a, when he eats, he's hella fancy. Like, he knows exactly what he wants, and he has a very, um, dim sum philosophy when it comes, when it comes to eating. Like, it's, he doesn't eat a lot of one thing. He like, I want to nibble on this, nibble on this. Like, he has a fruit. He has some a hot liquid and a cold liquid. <laughs> That's true. And he has a fish, and he has a side snack, and a, and a he has like whole foods and synthetic foods. <laughs> it's just like all kinds of stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> it's one way to lose weight and still taste. Even your setup, dude. It's fucking fancy. Huh? Like I'm a, I'm a fine diner. <laughs> Even this is somewhat. It's like origami. I feel like you should wear that. Instead of like, <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, yeah, uh, put your helmet to the side. And have your yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna meet now. What's going on in here? Oh, dude, really? Chiro said when I give him a massage, his uh, mobility he gets and a boner. workouts yeah. get better. So I'm helping my enemy. Secretly, I'm fucking him up so that I can have an advantage. Yeah, I thought you guys were competing against each other. Why would you trust the traitor, the enemy, your opponent, Chiro? Because any time a guy touches me, that's it. Game over, I'm vulnerable. Because what? Every time a guy touches you? Yeah. 
You're weak in the knees and you can hardly breathe. Yeah. You lose all control. Yeah. Butterfly in the stomach. I like it in the inner. What? What? <laughs> Where did that come from, though? I don't know. You have a dookie stain on your butt, dude. I do? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What is it, though? So we Damn. went to McDonald's today. Oh, yeah. And so we were in the drive-thru, and you know, we're doing our thing. We order food, but by the drive-thru menu, there's this crazy old lady that's homeless, and she's just saying like a bunch of shit to us. And so for me, I get like really scared. You know, like they get really close and personal. And then she said to get her a burger, but for me, I was like so scared, like I just didn't like, respond. So I drove past her, and she started cursing at us. She was like, what the fuck? So does that ball. But at the end of the line, they forgot to get a churro sandwich, and so we went around in another circle. But she recognized me again, and she's like, she starts yelling from across, this, this, the, I guess the drive-thru. She comes up to my window like this close, and she's like talking shit like, you little fucking disrespectful. You give me a sandwich. And for us, we were like so pissed because we had to deal with that. Did you punch her in the face? Oh. No, she's crazy. So did you? Were you making eye contact with her? Yeah, we we're just listening and like. I was just looking at Evan, I'm like, bro, she's talking to us. She's like talking shit to me. She's like this close to me. Window like, or no window? Uh, I put the window up. I knew it, you little pussy. You know, she's crazy. Yeah, I know, she probably would have gave you rabies. Just kidding. Yeah, so it was funny because... Right from my face. Yeah, so, huh? What, what? She, she was talking shit right in front of my face. Like, I, I came out with a camera and it was trippy because like... Uh, when I came up vlogging, she came up to me, she's like, what are you doing with the, your electronic stuff? And I'm like, and I, before I could even answer myself, she's like, dude, that's bad. You know, you better not do anything bad. There's children out there. And I better not hear anything that you've been doing this like nasty stuff with these nasty electronics. Oh my God. That's petty cash. I, I was a Marine and veteran. And in my head, like I wanted to her like, Bitch, if you're a veteran, you're fucking walking, go find a job, stop asking for money, you know? So, like, she, like, whatever, like, that's just me being fucking, getting all pissed at her. But, yeah, she just came up to me right from my face, just talking shit, and I didn't say one word, and she was just saying, like, all this crazy shit to me, like, oh, if, the, if you do anything with that, those electronic stuff, with that, uh, my energy will follow you, and all this stuff. Oh, shit. And I'm, like, I'm already, like, freaking out, and I just walk away, and then she starts screaming more, and I'm just like, whatever, dude, like, whatever. Damn, dog. How are you doing, Gio? What up, man? Ow! These guys take the sexual harassment course and nothing changes. Dude, I was trying to test him. He didn't know no, shit. He didn't know. He didn't know anything. What's quid pro quo? Why would I That's know that? I'm not sexually har <laughs> I'm not sexually chat. harassing okay. anyone. Ask him what quid pro quo is. What's it's quid pro quo? Managers, employees to do something for you in order to like promote them or whatever. Oh, who, who explained that to you? I believe you. You have a face of a believer. Oh God. Hey, what's up? I texted you. Weightlifting, huh? Yeah. Huh? And what's your point? I <laughs> compete. <laughs> you want to compete together or what? Yeah, you want to lose. Up? You want to lose? I didn't call you out. I just said, "What are you doing here?" And you're like, "We're lifting, huh?" <laughs> you're posting those uh, videos. And you're so you rude. Me out. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm calling you out right now, Vato. Oh. You did text me. I didn't want to respond. Massaging our tendonitis away. What is tendonitis? So tendonitis uh, it occurs when um, you've been training a certain muscle group a lot, and because the muscle is constantly getting worked, it's growing, it's getting stimulated, it's pulling on the tendon, and so a lot of times uh, it starts pulling on the tendon, and if you're not doing enough mobility or flexibility, that's the only thing that can release that pressure. So if you're not doing enough mobility, it's gonna start throbbing, it's gonna hurt. And then there's times where like you grip a bar and as soon as you let go, yeah, you're like, oh shit. It does. So that's tendonitis, but it's tendonitis is uh, the athlete's fault. It's my head, fault, I could have prevented it. But, now I but nobody told me. You know about that. Oh, it hurts so bad. You're, I don't even know how hard you're pressing it, but it really hurts. <sighs> 
Have you ever had a tendonitis? <laughs> a tendonitis a thousand times. Pop, are we doing now? I'm flossing your arm. What's that mean? You told me your arm doesn't feel good. No, the tendonitis still hurts. It's gonna hurt for months. Ah! Uh? That's part of lifting, baby. Well, what's the floss gonna do? It's gonna help break up the scar tissue or whatever mess you have in there. It's gonna help break it up and then it's gonna help push blood to that area so you can recover better. Let me see your arm. Why are you doing a Van Dam? Because it was touching and it was sweating. Oh, fine. But your arm touched the floor. The bed. The bed. And this is like a rubber band and it really hurts because it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. You can start seeing the veins on my hand. Ah, oh, fucking bitch, it hurts. Who would you? Who would use something like this? Professional athletes. Oh fuck! It feels like my hand's gonna explode. Probably. Oh fuck! Look at my hand. I can't. Oh my god! Ah, oh, this hurts so bad. <gasps> Oh my god! Fucking A, this hurts so bad. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh fuck. I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm, I'm sweating right now. It hurts so bad. Oh shit. I can't even talk. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Does this make you happy? No. Does this make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> no, <I can't. laughs> It hurts so bad. <laughs> Is this all the times I fucking put you through shit? Is it? Oh, no. Please take it off. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And I mean it, it's like a rubber band around my wrist. Look. It, it, like, it dented it in a matter of like, like this? a minute. Does that feel oh. way looser? Oh. It was way looser in there, right? Oh shit, I thought it was gonna explode. Look at how red my hand is. Is it? Well, it looks like yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh that my god, listen, right? it does. Do you want to do my shoulder? Yeah. Fuck. I'll do your other forearm first. Alright, let me put this on some sticks real quick. Alright, so just did one arm. I'm gonna do the other arm now. Put your hand here. So this is, uh, they call this flossing. There's a bunch of other terms for it. And pretty much you have like this giant rubber band. And uh, what you do is you tie it around specific body parts. And you have to know the techniques. And you have to understand the philosophy behind it to use it or else you can really hurt someone. Um, but the philosophy behind it is the human body is actually like a giant hot dog. So it's actually a big sausage. It's like a bunch of meat wrapped up in skin. So that's that's the way you want to think of the human body. And a lot of times when the body's been sitting there or it's been working, the meat gets stuck to the skin. So as the skin is moving or as the hot dog is moving, the wrong parts of the meat are moving with it. Because what it's supposed to do is your skin should be gliding over your muscle. Ah, fuck. And uh, if it doesn't, then that's how people get injured because things get caught, scar tissue builds up. And so with the floss, what it does is it super compresses the skin against the meat inside. And by doing that, it's, 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 uh, it forces and it squeezes I that know, sausage. I know, you can just explain it faster or something. <laughs> so it squeezes that sausage. Uh, and then now when you move the meat inside uh, around, fuck. it breaks up. It breaks up all of that meat that's tied up to the skin that's not supposed to be there. 
And so that's, uh, that's one of the reasons why they use this. You can use this on joints, you can use it on tight body parts, you can use it on parts that have tendinitis. It's a very helpful tool. And um, sometimes I like to use it like on my groin, my hip. I like to use it on uh, my bicep, my shoulder sometimes. You can use it all over the place. And then what's really cool is once you release this, because you were squeezing that sausage ah, the whole time. Just take it off. Once <laughs> you're squeezing that sausage the whole time, now when you let it go, oh my God. since it pushed all the blood away from it, oh. of this appendage, all that blood's gonna rush back. And when all that blood oh. rushes back, it's gonna increase circulation, okay. bring nutrients in with it, and help it heal. Fuck. It's kind of the same uh, concept like when you get a mosquito bite, and then it swells up, it's because your body is like rushing all kinds of uh, red blood cells there to help battle whatever's going on, bring nutrients there, help that heal. Same thing, you just do that, and then now all kinds of <clears throat> blood rushes uh, to that area. Oh, I smelled it! I'm sweating now, baby. Okay, forget it, no more, thank you. Good night. Good night. So would you prefer, so I guess I'm so going... So let's say if you were a guy and then you could suck your own dick and you were jacking off, then you would have to like, like let's say you, you have it on the TV, then you have to be like... <laughs> you have to look at the porno while you're sucking <laughs> on dick. Or you have like, like you pull the porno up on your phone. <laughs>